Who are the religious militias beating and killing demonstrators in Iran with names like Basij or Ansar e Hezbollah? Farshad Ibrahimi says he knows many of them because he used to be one of them. These are Pazdaran forces who wear black top to bottom without any figures or symbols on them, he says. And these are Ansai Hezbollah people who carry short black batons and gray vests. Now he's naming and shaming his former comrades on the web. This is one of the guys I knew, he says. This was when we were in Hezbollah and we knew each other. When I saw his picture, I was surprised. He publishes their names, phone numbers and sometimes even addresses and receives threats in return. Many defend themselves wholeheartedly, he says, and tell me they would kill me if they saw me without second thoughts. Ibrahimi says a lot of these religious militias were founded in the late 80s after the Iran-Iraq war. In 1988, when he was 13, he says he forged his ID and went to battle as a child soldier against Saddam Hussein's army. He says after the war, he and his comrades wanted influence, so they formed a group called Ansar e Hezbollah. We were a group of fighter kids, he says, a group who believed we owned the revolution. Ibrahimi says one of those he befriended was this young man he claims is Mochtaba Khamenei, the son of Iran's supreme leader, Grand Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. While CNN was unable to confirm the identity of the man in the picture, this YouTube video shows protesters in Iran chanting, Moshtaba die. Many in Iran believe Moshtaba Khamenei is behind the violent crackdown on protesters after the disputed elections. He was a good kid, Farshad says. We were really good friends, but you could also truly say he liked violence. Ibrahimi says groups like the Basij and Ansar e Hezbollah are loyal only to Iran's supreme leader. They believe it is their religious and revolutionary duty to uphold their beliefs and the Islamic Republic. They follow the line of the leader directly. Farshad says he defected from the militia in 1999 when members of Ansar e Hezbollah violently cracked down on student protesters. That, he says, was when he noticed the group he helped found had gone astray. Fred Plaitkin, CNN, Berlin.